But despite that early flush of success, Kenny discovered that he was in a kind of competition at Columbia with another up-and-coming balladeer, Maxwell, whose debut album was released within a month of Kenny's and went on to sell double platinum. Kenny with Sam Cooke and Maxwell with Marvin Gaye. But if you look at who had more of the sex appeal, meaning rawness, a little more partier, that was Marvin Gaye. Record companies are like parents, and their artists are like kids. And Maxwell had become the R&B golden child, and Kenny felt like the forgotten stepbrother. It was interesting coming out in the era where D'Angelo and my label mate Maxwell were hot. To be honest, I did not think that I fit. <laughs> and I, I wasn't trying to either. So when it came time to release Kenny's next single, a lot was riding on the outcome. 